Hello there. Hello there. Cole's here, and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. In the last video, we built this oil refinery plant right here. It's uh, kind of unfinished, like a lot of my projects. And that is why in this video we are heading back to the oil rig. And we're going to go and do some work on it. I don't know why she's stolen my boat. But she's going to have to get off because I need it. Um, so yeah, if you've been watching the other videos, you will have seen that we've built this oil refinery plant there. We've got an oil pipeline going under the sea. All the way to the oil rig. Now I think usually with oil rigs... Um, they can either have like oil refineries on the platform and uh, usually they will have uh, ships, oil tankers, which carry the oil from the platform to the land. But because we're quite close to the land, you know, we've just got a pipeline. Alright, and there's all our pipe pieces up there. Should probably get rid of those at some point. Uh, we'll just park up right here so we don't get our feet wet and let's climb up don't know what that seagull is doing here it's not gonna, it's not gonna find any food on the oil rig at least not down there okay so we're just gonna head up onto the platform and at the moment it's pretty hollow and empty there's not a lot there's not a lot here at all. So I think we should start filling some of the buildings. And also what I did have on these oil tanks is like the telescope object, which I was basically using as like a computer. You'll see what I mean in a second when I find it. If I find it, I guess I should say. Oh, well, this one might work actually. So the annoying thing is with these objects is they just kind of glitch out and spawn on top of whatever they're inside of. So if you put them inside of bricks like this, then the next time you load in, you might find that it is on top like that. Which gets incredibly annoying because you kind of want to use it as detail inside the bricks. Um... So yeah, there we go. That's the sort of thing we might do. There's like a computer controlling, I guess, like the pressure. Well, monitoring the pressure. And I guess the inflow and outflow of oil into that tank. I don't know. Okay, here it is. So what I was doing was basically putting it on like that. Actually, I do like that because it's got that wheel on the side. It's like a manual override for turning off the flow of oil out of this tank, which is kind of cool. So I think I will actually use that. And I think about there we'll do. So we'll do it on all of them. But yeah, so in the video, in the next video, you might find that it's actually like glitched up. To the top of the oil tank. It gets very annoying. Alright, we'll do the same over here. And on this one. So at the moment there is only one building that has stuff in. And I think it's this one that has everyone's beds and stuff in. It might be an idea to put some actual beds on top of these. So that people can actually sleep in them. Now once again they'll probably like glitch up. Which is really annoying. But I just think it would look better. Like having an actual functional bed. In fact what I will do. I think. Is get rid of these bricks. Because if you do that. Then the chances of it glitching up are reduced because it's not it's not inside of bricks. Like the problem only seems to occur if it's actually inside of a brick, like if I placed it there and it's on top of it's inside of those bricks. 
But if I put it there, as long as I get rid of that brick on the end here, or these bricks, then it shouldn't do that. In theory. Probably, you'll probably find it does. But at least now we have some functional beds though. Rather than just something that looks like a bed. There we go. Alright, uh, I mean we could try it out. If we can get up there. But the chances are it might not work because there's not a lot of room also. But we'll have a go. Flipping it, go inside. Alright, if we go on this one right here, it should be fine, because there's plenty of space next to it. Stop bouncing, just lie in it. Please. There we go, that's what I wanted. Them just to lie in it. No, stop bouncing. Oh my god. Alright, so that's the that's that floor. Oh yeah, and then we actually have to put a doorway in this one. I forgot about that. I think what I'll do is just copy this one here. And, uh, yeah. Copy this. Right, finally. Hopefully this works. Okay, that actually worked quite nicely. Let's have a look. But I have a feeling there is a wall behind. Yeah, there is, okay. So we've got to get rid of that, obviously. Okay, I think we did it. Successfully put a door in. Uh, and now I'm stuck between these two doors. I guess I close that one first. Alright, so we're in our uh, living cabin, our living quarters, whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shut, no. Shut the door. Not with me inside. Alright, so in this room we're gonna have we're gonna need a staircase going downstairs. So that's what we'll do. Right, let's count how high it is. One. Two, three, four, five, six. So we need about six stud heights worth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we'll just get rid of the bottom of the stairs, I guess. Just like that. And we only need this bit, I think. It's kind of cheating, I know. But, uh, you know, we, this is a perfectly good staircase. And then, obviously, I also have to make a hole in the floor. On the floor above. Straight out. So we go in here. If we can get through. We have a staircase going up there. Then we go through here. And we have the living quarters. The bedrooms. The cabins. Whatever the hell you want to call them. 
Alright, so what should this room be then? I feel like we should put some kind of stair rail around that hole that is right here. Probably just do it in metal. As this is a communist world, we will not worry too much about health and safety, so we're not going to put a banister going down the stairs. Basically, if anyone falls, it's it's their fault. They're not going to be able to see us. Because we won't let them. Because this is a communist world, as I said. Okay. I think that works pretty fine. Does the job. Alright, what's this room going to be then? Maybe like a locker room? I guess that could kind of work. A storage room for all of those people's stuff. Let's see what we can do. What have we got? So I know there are lockers in this game, but they are absolutely massive, so I don't think I'll use them. Drink some. <clears throat> that was bloody disgusting. Alright, yeah, these are the ones I was about. We've got these, but they are giant. They're not even going to fit in there. So we're going to have to get something smaller than that. Everything is just too big to fit in here. Give me something goddamn small, Jesus Christ. Hobbies, science and industry. Is there anything on here? Um, I guess maybe this? How big is this? It's just some like drawers, isn't it? That could work. It's just a storage, it's just storage area for the people that work here. That's all we need. So we use these. And hopefully that'll do. This little cart thing, I don't know what, I don't, there's not really any point in putting that upstairs because you can't get it downstairs, can you? This would be quite good as well, but it's pretty big. If I just like move it down a bit, like that. That's not so bad. Can we put this in? Or is that a bad idea? I think it works quite nicely. Okay, there we go. Bob the Builder is here to build a bench. Does it have to be made of wood or can it just be like that? Yeah, I think this works nicely. dive straight into the ground all right so we've got a little like locker room here with everyone's stuff oh my god this is going to get very annoying very quickly and we've got our beds very cool maybe some bedside tables that would be quite nice, I guess. We'll give some of them the ones with these lights on. 
They're gonna have to share. I hope they don't mind. Alright, cool. Okay, right, let's try it out now. Please be able to walk up there. Okay, nice. Should we put a railing around that one as well? I feel like we sh probably should. We'll just do the same as on this one. Health and safety is not number one priority here. But we don't want someone to die that easily. Now the question is what we're going to put on the on the bottom floor here. Maybe a little a little kitchen, I don't know. All right, I think one will do. And a stove. fill in the corner. Okay, there we go. Have a nice old kitchen space. So basically this is a building for the crew. In fact, what are we putting on this middle floor? I didn't think about that. Maybe a bigger living area. I guess that would be nice. I feel like we should put some little windows in and stuff, I don't know. The only problem is that orange. Right, there we go. Now they got some sunlight at least. A little bit. Alright, so we put some, some of these little cabin windows in. But now we need to put something on the middle floor, on this one here. So I'm thinking we're going to put like a little living area here. Uh, so what we're going to get for that is, I guess, some couches and things like that. TV. I don't even know if they have TV on oil rigs. But, um, I guess they could use satellite, I don't know. Right, and then we'll put another couch in. Maybe just this little one here. Or perhaps two of them. One there, one on the other side, about there. It's all right as long as we can actually get get past them. All right, let's try it out. All right, that's the first issue. All right, can we walk past? Yes. Can we walk past there? Yes. Can we walk past here? Yes. All right. Well, that answers that. It keeps going dark. The time goes too quick. So when we're not working, we can just chill out here with the, uh, the other guys, with the rest of the crew, and uh, watch some TV. All right, I quite like how that went. That's pretty good. Now I guess it's time to build kind of the radar tower thing. I 
I don't really know how that's going to look. Right, so I actually have this thing here. That I kind of want to use as the radar tower, but it's a bit kind of big. So I'd probably put it on top of this building at about this height. And I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to actually fit it on. Obviously, at the moment, it's too wide. We'll just have to get rid of it all the way around. Accidentally broken the surveillance cameras. Great, now we're falling off. Just brilliant. I actually like how it looks already. I'll make a few changes to it, I think. But other than that, it's fine. Oh yeah, we also need to get rid of the base. Like the floor bit. Around the outside. those doors on. There's all kinds of computers and stuff in here. Just as we need. And then on the top I'm going to get rid of that I think. Put a different one on. We also need to fix that sloped brick, that corner bit. I don't know what happened to it, but it is broken. This bit right here. Change the colour to light grey. Alright, let's see what radar dishes we have. Radar. Okay, so we've got this this alien one. I don't think I'm bothered about having these green weird rays. So I think we're going to go for this one right here. I'll have a look. I'll see what it looks like once we've put it on here. I think, yeah, I think we should raise it up a little. I don't really know how I want it to look, to be honest. Do I have some kind of tower building that we could use? Let's have a quick look. Type in tower, see what comes up. Um, so obviously it has to have the same kind of dimensions. Same width and length. Castle tower? No. Oh, this thing. How big is this? That's a pretty good looking tower. For what we need. 
but the base is a bit too wide. That's the only problem. But I think we could narrow that. Okay, let's try that. As long as it's... Okay, it's actually touching, that's good. And... Yeah, that's alright. What I might do, though, is... Put this at the kind of the back of the room, the hole. Okay. Now we're done. And now we'll copy this bit. It looks kind of massive. <laughs> it's probably bigger than we need it to be. Oh well. Security is number one priority, I, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. I think if it didn't have the base, it would look better. Quite possibly. Because it is pretty big. Yep, I think that's what we're going to do. Because it kind of looks too big and I don't like it. So. Get rid of all that. And. Copy tool. And then there's that doorway straight into it as well, which is, makes it easier, I guess. <coughs> oh, pardon me, Jesus Christ. All right, let's try and line it up with this. Okay, I think that's good. And kind of like that. Okay. So we'll get rid of these now. And in fact I will actually save this. Call it a radar tower or something like that. And save as what? We're saving it as radar tower. I guess so. Radar Tower. Alright, now we've got that saved. Let's skydive back down. Okay, pretty neat. Okay, so what are we going to put in these buildings? In this one? Maybe some kind of office? I don't know. Maybe some kind of office would be good, I guess. So if we choose, if we get the windows, what windows are we going to use? Just regular white ones. I wish there was some grey windows, that would be good. Actually, what I do need to do is put in the AC thing that was there before. If that's even, if I can even find it. go across here. Okay, I'll just find it myself. I'll probably be quicker. Here it is, the cell alarm system. So basically I'm just using it as some kind of control panel. That's kind of what it looks like. Don't know, it could be a fuse box or who knows.
a whole bunch of different controls on there. We have one of these on the roof already, I think. Yep. Yeah. I'm actually going to put a wall in this one, I think. Maybe like a cupboard door. I think that could be cool. Use one of these stone doors. Oh, why does that always happen? I hate that. It's so dumb. So now I have to guess how big the door is. I've got no idea. Could be this size. In fact, no, I think it's only three across, is it? So it is four. Bigger than I thought, okay. But do we need more height? Or have we done it about right? Okay, so it looks like it's just gonna... Can we fit it in? Alright, nice. Let's go and check that out. So there's a nice little storage cupboard thing here. I have no idea what we'll put in there, maybe a skeleton or something. Skeleton in the closet. Are we going to put one of these in? Or an act just put a skeleton in? I think if we put a skeleton spawner in, that'll be... Then they can just respawn. It could be very annoying doing that. But uh, that's what we're doing. Okay, the skeleton in the closet. Ah, close the close the close the closet. Can't even speak. Oh my god, it's been a long day. It's been a long week, in fact. Okay, uh, so obviously we've got some stuff to do on this floor. There's literally nothing here. We'll have all kinds of control panels and things, I guess. Probably same on this floor. And yeah, so let's go back to the building that we were in. Whichever one that was. Jesus Christ. Okay, here it is. And what are we putting in here? An office, did we say it was going to be? Alright, we'll grab the yellow chairs because they're some of the only ones you can actually sit on. We haven't used the space in here very efficiently. We could have definitely fit more desks in here. But uh, we don't have a massive crew on this oil platform anyway, so I don't think we need loads. Okay, let's go out and uh, we'll go check it out. If I can get down there. I've already forgotten how to get in. That's uh, through the door, obviously. Apparently we have skeletons working in this office. I think I might just keep this door closed so they don't they don't get out. Although the other door, the cupboard door, didn't stop them getting out. Alright, so uh, what else do we need? What do we need? Oh my god. Let's have a look through. What have we got? Oh, maybe we need some potion shelves. There's all kinds of chemicals and stuff they'll, they'll use on oil rigs, I imagine. Especially if they are refining the oil. But I don't think we need any of that. Maybe just a storage room? Maybe it could be like a pirate. A pirate's den as well. That would be kind of funny. Does anybody ever inspect oil rigs to check they haven't got pirate treasure on? I don't know that they do. 
I think usually they just try and keep pirates away, but maybe they've made a, a deal with the pirates. I have no idea what I'm talking about. We're just making up scenarios here. Oh, look at all that nice stuff. Sure would be a shame. It appears just to be like a storage room then, I guess. All kinds of stuff in here now. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, how many is there in there? What the hell? What have we done? What have we unleashed onto this oil platform? It's going to turn into some kind of horror film, I think. Let's close that door as well. Let's get the crap out of here. Alright. I think that might be it for this video. We've built quite a bit. Um, I'm trying to figure out how we can get up to another section. I'm trying to figure out how we can get to the helipad from here. I guess I haven't really thought about that yet. Oh, it's right there. What am I on about? It's easy. Oh, but we literally have to jump down here to get to there. I guess we'll just do that. Alright, yeah, that is it for this video. We'll probably finish off this radar tower on the next video and fill out the other buildings as well. But uh, yeah, that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. I guess. You don't like me, that's established. Keyboard warrior, ugly ass catfish. You can never act this out here, living that lavish life. You should be embarrassed, guys. Cash in the vault, so it's safe to say. Your boy stay dry on a rainy day.